Hello and welcome to the devotion for Wednesday, January the 8th, entitled Big Debt. Now, this whole week we've been talking about getting out of the God business. In other words, letting God be God and me getting out of the judging, trying to take on the job of the Holy Spirit of convicting other people of their sin. And one of the illustrations that we used of what can happen to us so easily was the Pharisees, good people with great hearts who fell into, quite honestly, the same trap that I did. Because I was a good person. I had a good heart. But I became bitter. I became judgmental. I became critical. I became the watchdog of righteousness in every person that I saw and missed God by a mile. Now, the Pharisees, as we looked at their lives and how petty they became because of that understanding, I need to be the moral police for everyone. Jesus interacted with a Pharisee named Simon. He went to his house after an invitation for dinner. But while he was there, a woman described as having lived a very sinful life came in and anointed Jesus' feet. And we read in Luke 7, it says, And when the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who is touching him and what kind of a woman she is, that she is a sinner. So Jesus said to him, Simon, I have something to tell you. Oh, you think so? <laughs> tell me, teacher. Two people owed money to a certain money lender. One of them owned 500 denarius, but the other only 50. Now, neither of them had the money to pay back the debt. So he forgave the debts of them both. Now, which would love him more? Simon replied, I suppose the one who had the bigger debt forgiven. And Jesus said, you have judged correctly. And then he pointed out all the things that the woman had done for him none of which had the Pharisee done for him. And he concludes by saying, Therefore I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven, for her great love has shown. But whoever has been forgiven little, loves little. Who would have ever thought a big debt might give us the right heart? You see, every single one of us have a massive debt. When it comes down to a lifetime lived with sin in our lives. We owed, even as these two in the illustration, more than we could ever pay ourselves. Only Christ, who is the one who was both the lawgiver and the fulfillment of the law, had to take on him that which we couldn't pay. He paid our debt for us by giving his life in our place to satisfy his own righteous requirement. And yet some of us don't feel like we've had a very big debt. We feel like we're better than others, that we are owed something more because we didn't do X, Y, or Z to tank our life. I felt that way for a long time. I was arrogant, just like that Pharisee. I didn't have that much to be forgiven for, so I had very little tolerance for anyone else who sinned. In fact, I wanted them to get what they deserved. Why? Because I felt like I deserved better. When Jesus made this statement, it would have been made of me. You don't perceive yourself to have been forgiven much, and therefore you have very little love for anyone. You have arrogance. You have pride. But you don't have love. You don't have mercy. You don't have compassion. Because this woman loves deeply because she realizes the depth of what she has been forgiven for. The tragedy is the Pharisee had just as much to be forgiven for. He was just unaware of it, like I was. I want to recognize that I owe a big debt, one I cannot pay. And God so loved the world that he gave himself. That realization, that understanding that God has given everything for me, should make me want to see other people get that same grace. When I realize I've been forgiven much, a great debt, I set myself up to have the right heart and the right attitude to also love much. Let's pray. Father, 
Lord, we can become so arrogant as if I had no debt to be forgiven at all. To look down on someone that may have a different sin than I've struggled with or may have really walked through hard places and made very poor decisions. Lord, save us from arrogance. Let us all see we had a debt that we could never pay ourselves and it was forgiven. It was a big debt. And Lord, let that realization cause us to be people of great grace, great mercy, incredible compassion. Do that even as we open our heart to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Big debt, big love. I'll see you tomorrow.